how was it for you watching another team like this win big in LA? It was fun. I was, but it was different, you know, because after the game, I thought the city was going to be a little bit more on fire, you know? I mean, it was, it was, it was you know, people were, self, people were celebratory, but, you know, I can remember when we won, it was, you know, tearing up some stuff and a couple of flyers and a couple of turned over police cars that I had to pay for, but I'm happy for the Rams. Uh, I'm happy for the city. Um, I just hate that. When you win a championship, people have to question it. I know they got three calls in a row. I know that, but, you know, I, I would have liked them to just blow the other team out. But I'm happy because I, I had a guy on both sides. So whoever would have won, I definitely would have been happy. Who are your guys on both sides, Shaq? Joe Burrows, LSU. Odell Beckham Jr., LSU. Mm-hmm. So it's all about school for you. All about schools for me because I, even though I was at the Super Bowl cheering, I'm a Cowboys fan. Do not get it twisted. I'm always been a Cowboys fan. I will always be a Cowboys fan through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And it's ugly, but you know, and also you know that TJ's in the corner right now, and he's kind of happy about that because TJ, you have a question for Shaq, and there's something burning in your brain. Well, it wasn't even the question for Shaq. It was just like you know, Shaq. I've got a velvet rope up in front of my desk here. And it's because yeah, get to the point. Get to the, point. the point, Shaq, is a lot of a lot of people like to talk trash about the Cowboys, Shaq. So I like I devised the system determining if their team that they root for was good enough for me to argue with them about football based on whether or not they wanted to talk trash on the Cowboys. So that's that's basically what that one I is. Mentioned this. I was on my podcast the other day. I mentioned this about the Cowboys. I wanted somebody to go with it, but this is what I think. If you look at the job that Deion Sanders is doing at Jackson State, mm-hmm. that's the type of that's the type of energy we need at Cowboys. I don't know who the new coach of the Cowboys is, but I think you should bring Deion back home. He played there, he knows the system, he knows what it takes to play. I think he can definitely get the guys ready. So Deion Sanders should be the next Cowboys coach. Ooh. I love that. It's a great team. Well, and you coach know Prime. Jerry Shack, like he 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 goes back and forth like a a coach that's a little bit more con- he can control. And then he goes the other direction and gets a coach that's going to do his own thing. So that would certainly be going back in that other direction for sure. And he loves a big name. Yeah. And he loves a big splash. And okay. and boy, yeah. Dion's done a great job. Yep. And not only that, Dion will hold these guys accountable. I think you know, this is a genius idea. Be- they're, you know, and yeah, it, they won't yeah, be on their phones in the locker room. Have you seen that video? He's like, get off your phones okay. or you're not playing. Yeah, I'm like, I, I love that. I love it. I saw that. It's, you know, all the, one thing, like, like when, when Phil came and, you know, Susie knows this because she was there, he held me accountable. Like, hey, man, you listen to me free throws. Or, hey, man, you, 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 you know, put on some pounds. Hey, man, you're not doing this. Hey, man, stop fighting. You know, like, like he held me responsible. And that's what some of these superstars need these days. You, well, and they want it, don't they, stuff. Shaq? Don't they want that, like, to a certain degree, at least within the bounds of the playing field? It seems like from watching the Jordan documentary, that's what Phil's so good at doing, like holding you accountable for your, your, your basketball play, but then letting you be who you are outside of the, outside of the building. Yeah. Sean's like that. Yeah, so, that's, but, I, I, you know, for so many guys in the younger generation, they just want to, you just pay him and then you just move out the way. And then you allow him to have excuses and this and that. I don't know. It's different. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.